about Clemson saying to you that might have been different from what other teams were saying to you at that time? Uh, this is basically uh, the, the feeling of Clemson and, uh, you know, you know, they was kind of pitching that we was going to come in here, we was going to win. And obviously we did year one. Um, so that really struck me in recruitment. Like other teams would say what? Uh, you know, other teams, you know, they, they know I was a good player, but they, they didn't quite say I was their special player to them. Right? And that's what the message clip was related to me. And um, that's the message that stuck with me. Do you feel like they got like they got they got to know you really well before you even came here? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think uh, you know they took the time and, and got to know me uh, personally, and uh, you know that's that was one of the most side effects. Yeah. David, what are you seeing out of that uh, that Alabama defense so far that may be a little bit different than last year? Uh, it's not a lot of difference from last year except for the players' numbers. Uh, it's just a tough group. Um, yeah physical group and you know they're gonna be ready defensive line still the same I mean obviously they've, they've changed numbers but yeah. Yeah. You know, those guys still you know physical at the point of attack uh, definitely definitely uh, they got some guys in there you know uh, the straight monsters so it's uh it's gonna be a, gonna be a great challenge for us and uh, you know we, we were looking forward to it but you know they, they got some dollars in there are you looking for it this time around? I mean, obviously Wayne has been the main guy, mm -hmm. you know, in these games. For you being now the main guy going out there and, and getting the start against these guys? Uh, definitely. Definitely I'm looking for my, you know, shot, my turn uh, to go out here and compete against these guys. Uh, you know, last year I had a small role on special teams, but now to be the starter going into this game, uh, it definitely means a lot. Um, as the coaches can trust me, and uh, I'm just ready for the moment. What has this ride been like for you so far this year? You know, getting this chance, playing in front of family and friends, making it to a playoff. Uh, it, you know, it, it's definitely been a dream come true. You know, uh, to just you know be a part of this team and to be on the journey we had this year, uh, it's definitely been been a great ride for me. In every great rivalry, that third one is always seems to be the biggest obstacle. What do you see? What stands out to you as the biggest obstacle? Into Alabama, Clemson, Alabama, Park Three. Uh, the biggest obstacle is just don't lose to Clemson. Uh, you know, we're, we're a good team. They're a good team. We just gotta, you know, control the things that we can control against them. How much does it help you guys? So many guys rotate in and out. Sometimes teams have their set two or three wide out, their set tight end, their set running back. You guys seem to rotate in even in the uh, just really, uh, it helps with the rotation. It helps keep us fresh. Uh, just really, just just helps us as a unit. You know, we all get to the sideline. We all talk about what the defense is doing out there. So it all benefits us as a whole. How do you get to that point where not only you but you guys have the buy-in and the trust in each other that even though you might not be on the field, your teammates picking you up? Uh, you know, that's just something we just created during camp uh, and throughout the season, you know, the trust in each other, um, that uh, each one of us is going to do our job, and uh, no matter who's out there, we're going to give it our all and uh, and be unselfish. you got to be an unselfish guy in our room, and uh, I think everybody in our room is unselfish. Wayne reached out to you at all? Uh, yeah, I talked to Wayne. <laughs> what did you, you all talk about? Uh, nothing much. We didn't really talk about football. Uh, we just talked about things in life. How much... Kid, what he did last year and what he's done for you help you going forward towards this game? Uh, it helps a lot, you know. Uh, going back, I didn't, I didn't play last year, so obviously, you know, uh, watching last year's game, you, you watch it and you watching his physicality, the way he run the ball, you know, uh, the way he was blocking last year. Uh, that all matters to me, and uh, this is going to be a big part of the game. Travis has told you guys you're in for a little bit of a culture shock. What are you looking forward to seeing and doing eating down in New Orleans? Uh, I, I don't really know. Uh, I have to see when I get down there. I, I might let him let me let him take me around a little bit. I, I don't know yet. You you laughed when I mentioned his name. What has he been saying? What has he been talking about? Uh, another man, Travis. Just uh, he's just a cool, funny guy, man. Do you sense that this game means something? More? I mean, it, it already means the world to all you guys, but can you sense it means a little bit more to him, Tavian, because he's going he is going home close time? I, I wouldn't say it means more to him. Uh, 
I just to say, you know, uh, it's, a, it's his homecoming. It's a chance uh, for him to go home in his home state and represent his home state. How nice is it to have a little break before this big game and maybe another one after that to go home and spend some time with family for Christmas? Does that help you kind of hit a reset button? Uh, definitely, definitely to go home and see my family. You know, uh, see some friends. You know, just to just to regroup uh, and get my mind right for the game. It's, it's definitely a, a big advantage for me. You mentioned the trust factor when it comes to the running backs. Was it tough to build that at first? And now that you guys have been into the season, found success with each other. Has it grown stronger that you noticed? This uh, I, I wouldn't say it was tough. I just say that uh, it was tough learning each guy's role. You know, because each guy wants to be that guy and. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a group thing now, so it's, it's definitely, you know, it definitely works out for the better. Of it, so. When the group roles were found, what was that moment like? Were you guys just going to show like, yo, we're just going to keep doing and keep 